Hi, welcome to Fiscal Solutions YouTube channel. Today, here with me in our studio for the first time is Aleksandar Delic, our legal consultant. Welcome, Aleksandar. Hi, Mina. It's my pleasure to be here. So, Aleksandar, could you please tell us uh, what kind of cash registers in Slovak Republic are the taxpayers that are working under the fiscalization rules obligatory to use? So, all taxpayers which are obliged to comply with fiscalization rules are mandatory to choose from online cash register or virtual cash register. The taxpayer can choose between the two systems, so he can opt for one of those two options depending on his personal priorities or prerogatives regarding his business activity. What is the main difference between these two cash registers? So it lies in a fact that virtual cash register or VRP is primarily used for small taxpayers. What it means small taxpayer to be more precise is that small taxpayer is a business entity which generally, generally have just small amount of business and also one of the main differences also lies in the fact that virtual cash register as an application from the Slovak Republic cannot support external software systems so it is limited by itself and it cannot be used with sophisticated and complex external software systems such as cash management system or stock system, etc. So online cash register is a more sophisticated system. What are some particularities, some specific elements of the fiscal documents printed in Slovak Republic? Okay, so focusing on the fiscalization process in Slovak Republic, in comparison with some other European fiscal countries, after the implementation of the ECASA system, there are some mandatory legal requirements which will be printed and shown later on on the fiscal documents and which are different in comparing with other European countries. So some particularities can be seen on the fiscal documents. Okay, but what is the difference between signature code and verification code? Okay, so the signature code or PKP and verification code as OKP are one of the particular elements of the fiscal documents in the Slovak Republic. So, the main difference lies in the fact that signature code is always generated by a CASA cash register, but it's printed on the fiscal document just in particular situation. For example, it's obligatory on offline documents, and on the other hand, the verification code is always printed on the fiscal documents, and verification code is the hash of the signature code. Okay, so could you tell us more about the unique buyer identifier, what it means, what is it used for? Okay, sure. So the unique buyer identifier as a particular and it's one of the particular document elements in the Slovak Republic is also used in specific legally defined situations. So the unique buyer identifier is, a, we can say it's a form of data which is submitted by the buyer to the seller before registering the sales this is a necessity so when this happens in this particular situation the buyer identifier data will be printed on the fiscal documents this data can be for example tax id or business name of the buyer so it's his discretionary right to choose and create a particular identifier okay thank you alexander for being my guest today i hope you will be here soon Thank yeah. you, Mina. It was my pleasure. Thanks. And thank you all for listening. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe. See you soon. Bye.